Buckman, a name associated with quality since 1833. Trusted by the British Railway Modeler since 1989. Products you can enjoy year after year. Assured by our uncompromising after-sales support. Supporting the industry and events that we all love. Trusted by the biggest names in the rail industry, including GB Rail Freight, Freightliner, the Fastiniog Railway and the National Railway Museum, to produce the finest models of their trains. Voted 10 times Manufacturer of the Year by Modellers, an unprecedented feat. Available only from Backman stockists across the world who you support with every Backman product you buy. Backman Europe, delivering quality. Hello, welcome to Batman Europe. I'm Richard Proudman, joined here today by Dave Parsons, and we have a special news flash for you um, to coincide with the opening of the DEMU showcase. Um, pretty obvious what we're making here, Dave. It is, yes. As you can see before us, it's our all new BR Class 37. Um, it's, it's quite exciting, isn't it? It certainly is. A bit like deja vu, we had the 47s this time last year, yeah. um, and to coincide with the DEMU showcase, a prominent event in the diesel modelers calendar uh, we're delighted to present this all new model um, and they're they're at the show today yep for everyone to see if you're there at dmu you'll you'll see these in the cabinets in front of you go and take a look and available to purchase that's right yes we have two on sale today so why the class 37 then dave well the class 37 is an icon of british railways um, it's always been a staple of our range for 20 years now since we made our first one in 2002 um, so as with the our award-winning class 47 um, we thought it was time to redesign that from the, this from the wheels up and uh, and really give it a, an overhaul and, and make it bring it right up to today's standards yeah and been, beyond been in the works for a few years now yes it's been three to four years at least uh, in development um, we've been working behind the scenes at this for a very long time uh, Kevin Pedley uh, has been the project manager on this uh, straight from the start. Same with the Class 47, so he's been working very hard. Um, and he's spent a very long time ensuring that every aspect of this is, is, is spot on. Yeah, I mean, you can see that we've really gone to town with the model. Um, yeah. the, the 47 gives a bit of a blueprint. Um, obviously the two models have been developed side by side yeah, for, for some right. time. Yeah. Um, I seem to remember seeing the livery samples for the first 37s around the time we announced the 47s. So uh, it's the, the nature of the beast that it takes this amount of time to get, get things right and get them to market. Um, but I'm sure everyone can agree what we see in front of us today is really quite special. It is, yes. It's a, it's a great model. And um, I think it's originally when we, we announced to ourselves internally we're going to produce this model, I thought there wasn't really much wrong with our old 37. But when you put the new 37 to our old 37, there's so many areas of improvement, it's, it's fabulous. Great. Obviously a lot of that's in the um, aesthetics and the accuracy to the prototype, um, but as people expect, a high specification model, uh, we've produced the, the 20, the 24, the 47, all with brand new tooling over the last year or two, we've got 25 in the works. Um, so should we get into the nitty and gritty of what makes the Batman branch line class 37? Backman Europe has never been a company to stand still, so whilst the award-winning Class 47 set the bar high and created a blueprint for our next generation of 00 scale Coco diesels, we've gone a step further with our all-new Class 37, as you'll see. Forget everything you once knew about the Batman Class 37, as our new model owes nothing to it. Improvements can be seen in all areas, such as the distinctive cab windscreen, which is faithfully modelled complete with the flange around the cab windows, and the cab door, which follows the taper of the cab instead of being parallel to the body side. On the body side, the tumble home now follows the profile of the prototype. 
Turning our attention to the roof and an intricate etching process is used to depict the woven wire mesh of the fan grill, whilst a separate retaining frame is fitted on top. The bogey frames are modelled in full relief, with numerous components used to depict both the primary and secondary suspension and the braking system, including separately fitted brake cylinders, pipework and the characteristic hand brake chains fitted between the locomotive and bogey. Each axle box is embossed with BR Timken just like the prototype, unless a speedometer, speed control or a mileage counter is fitted. Separate detail parts are produced in metal and plastic as appropriate, including etched windscreen wipers, metal handrails at the cab doors and on the nose ends where applicable, and metal buffers of which there are several patterns, all of which are sprung. The separate detail is amplified between the bogies, where the tanks are modelled faithfully, complete with their intricate pipework and bracket details. Through the body side windows, the engine room interior is engraved into the chassis block, whilst the cab interior features a high level of detail that is only enhanced by the complex decoration, including controls and dials, notices and warning signs, all of which will be decorated relevant to the era and livery of the locomotive being portrayed. With all of this detail, it would be easy to assume that this is a fragile beauty, but whilst you will naturally want to handle your new 37 with care, Batman models are designed and built to be durable and undergo multiple quality control procedures before being delivered to you, so you can be confident when it comes to operating your model and know that it will still be looking great for many years to come. We know that our consumers demand quality in every respect and the performance of our new 37 will not disappoint. Our all new model utilises a 5 pole twin shaft motor with twin flywheels to provide drive to both bogies and all axles. Electrical pickup is from all 12 wheels while each axle runs in a pair of separately fitted metal bearings which slot into the die cast bogey towers. As you would expect, the main chassis block is also of die cast metal construction. Lighting includes directional lights with high intensity headlights where applicable, cab lights and engine room lights. Each lighting feature is controllable via separate DCC functions and for the first time you now have the option to display red tail lights at both ends or white marker lights at both ends. When used on analog control the model has been configured for realistic operation with directional lights illuminating when power is applied. The lighting at each end can also be turned on and off for analog use via the under chassis switches. Light colours and temperatures are no less important than the liveries applied to our models, and these have been specified according to application and era for each. All models are supplied with our dual fitted speaker system pre-installed, using two different speakers to provide optimal sound reproduction when you choose our sound fitted or sound fitted deluxe models. The Plux 22 DCC decoder interface is employed as standard, with our sound fitted and sound fitted deluxe models pre-fitted with the latest Zemo MS series DCC sound decoder, the first UK ready to run model delivered with this new technology installed. Loaded with our own unique sound projects, our sound models capture the character of the real locomotives and brings your model to life. That's right, I said projects, because we have no fewer than four sound projects for the new Branch Line 37s, covering the original locos, those fitted with thermostatically controlled radiator fans, the 37 fours, and the locos modified by DRS. The main difference is concern whether the locomotive is started with a generator or alternator, and the operation of the fan. This is depicted not only by the sound effects, but the operation of the motorised fan too, on our sound fitted deluxe models. The motorised fan itself is driven by an independent motor, the operation of which is controlled by the DCC decoder, and differs according to the sound project used in each particular model. However, a dedicated function on DCC also allows the user to operate the fans independently. With more lighting functions than ever before, we've also upgraded our Plus 22 DCC Loco Decoder so that it is configured ready to work all 11 functions on your new 37. So if you're fitting a non-sound decoder to your model, this is the one to choose. Just plug it in and you can enjoy it all. Our previous Plus 22 decoder will also operate all 11 functions with a few small CV changes and instructions on how to do this are included with the new 37. Well, a real premium specification to our new Class 37 there, Dave. It is, it's a great model and we're very excited about it. What we have here today is uh, our first uh, release of tooling for the, our Class 37s. Uh, we've got the subclasses, the 370 Series 1 with the split head coats, the Series 2, with the centre head coats and the 37 fours, and we've produced a whole wealth of tooling for all of these subclasses to reduce them from as built right the way through up to the modern day. We can do a lot of different variations there within the 
Yeah. 3.7.0s, 3.7.4s, etc. That's right, within each of those uh, subclasses we can do all the different tooling uh, with boiler, without boiler combinations um, to, to bring them up to, to the modern era. And different um, bogies even, I've seen one model here has got a different bogey at each end. That's right, yeah, we've got the fabricated and um, cast bogies, um, all new tanks, uh, things like that. Uh, um, as with our class 47, we've dual fitted speakers in every, uh, every one of our, our models. Um, so it offers a much better range of sound. I think that's something that's been welcomed by the consumer as well. I've seen a lot of people enjoying the 47 and the extra range of sound it can offer. Um, both more volume for those that want higher volume and also in the different range of sound pitches. It's much better quality of sound, yes. Yeah, that's it's right. really, yeah. uh, it's really, really up the game. Really advanced our sound fitted models and obviously sound fitted deluxe as well. That's right. We've um, we've put a lot of extra work into uh, into improving um, our previous model, which was quite good in itself. We've revised the um, the roof fans and fan grills to make them much more prototypical. Yeah, in terms of the looks, you can you put the two models side by side, and it's, it's quite a difference. Um, in, there is a big difference between areas, them. Yes, yeah, certainly. I, I always thought our, our old model was very good, um, and and then we we got these in as delivery samples and production models, and you put them next to each other and. There's, there's a whole wealth of differences. You can see why we've put this effort in to, uh, to do the new tooling, can't you? That's right. The, the bogies and the water and fuel tanks underneath, uh, with all the extra conduits and piping involved, makes a huge difference to them. Uh, I've seen differences in the nose as well. You've got the profile of the nose, a subtle difference in the um, the shape of the nose front uh, and the cab windscreen is obviously That's a right. distinctive Kev area that people... Um, see it no straight away it's a class 37. That's right Kevin spent a very long time out on the, he did multiple site visits um, original works drawings measurements um, everything to to make sure all these all the distinctive features of class 37 were replicated perfectly um, so he spent a very long time backwards and forwards to Hong Kong um, getting to obviously the cards and things like that to make sure everything was just spot on so he captured that look of a a distinctive class 37 perfectly. Yeah, there's even a little angle change on the exhaust ports. That's something that's, that's right. That's something before. I didn't notice until uh, Kevin pointed out to us. I don't know if it just has a well, there's little extra features on the roof yeah. and on the underframe and, and the sides. And the, the cab interior is, is much deeper uh, than our previous ones, a lot more detail in it. Um, with the decoration wise for, for livery, we're, we're decorating the cab interior specific to the different era of locomotives where it's original. Um, be our blue era or sectorisation, privatisation. Yeah. There's this, there's changes in, in uh, interior colours and, and logos. We've and got different cabs, uh, details at each end. That's right. Yeah, to represent the real thing. Yeah, there's uh, different numbers of doors and, and different uh, bulkheads at the back uh, for each uh, each end. Really tasty model that we've got. It's on really come on. Yes, yes, it's very exciting, and to see them painted up and in production is quite exciting too. Uh, and there's a huge amount of extra fitted details as well. Um, I mean, the bogies themselves, the, there's clearly a lot of different parts going into them. Um, and we've got these lovely chains for the, the handbrake chains. That's uh, right, the brake chains, yeah. They're, they're, pre -fitted. they're factory fitted brake chains uh, with the, the arms extending from the, the chassis as well, um, which I didn't think we'd ever get to work. But um, the, our, our wonderful colleagues in, in Hong Kong and, and China at Cader have uh, put a lot of work into getting it right and making sure that they work and they'll negotiate second radius curves without any issue. Great. They're attached to the chassis on the underside so you can remove the, the, the retaining screws and remove the body for if you need to put a decoder in. Yeah, oh, great. And we've also got etched details with the, uh, re the, the retention clips, I believe. Yes, the regular retention the uh, hooks there. There's, there's four on each bogey, so there's eight of those that yeah. have been um, manufactured and fitted to each one. Screen wipers, we've got obviously etched grills you touched on. That's right, um, yes, yeah. yeah so uh, separately right. fitted uh, bonnet doors on the roof as well. Plethora of different um, nose end variations uh, and tooling combinations for all the different 37 zeros and 37 fours. Great, well, should we take a look at some of those uh, in detail, the yeah. different tooling options that we've got? The tooling suite for the Branchline Class 37 allows us to depict a large percentage of the feet at any given time during the class's long working life, and this will only expand as we continue to develop and invest in more tooling to broaden our options even further. To start with, we turn our attention to the original Class 37 O's and the Class 37 4s, and these two subclasses are typified by three distinct body styles. The 37 O with split head codes, 
37 O's with central headco panels. As you can see, these also sport roof mounted horns. And the 37 4 refurbished locomotives, which too have the roof mounted horns. Our split head code models can be produced with glazed boxes behind which the train's head code will be displayed or with plated boxes. These are fitted with a single marker light in each box. The central head code panel can also be glazed to display the train's head code or when such codes were no longer displayed, a black blind with two white dominoes was used instead. The centre head code may also be plated over with either two marker lights fitted or two sealed beam marker lights. During refurbishment, the panels were either plated or in some cases removed altogether, and so our 37 fours sport plated centre panels with either marker lights or sealed beams. There are further optional features on the nose ends, including the distinctive Western Region lamp brackets, headboard clips, a high central lamp bracket, and with or without the long vertical handrails on each corner of the nose. Additional lighting can come in the form of the high intensity headlight or the Scottish car style headlight, after its introduction on the Branch Line Class 47, we are thrilled to bring this characteristic feature to the 37 for the first time too. On top of the nose, the NRN aerial is present also, only where appropriate of course. Below the nose we have the option to produce models both with the original buffer beam cowling and with this area of bodywork cut away. The coupling bash plate at the bottom of the nose is also present where appropriate. Buffers come in the form of round oleos, oval, or the modern squared type, and all are of metal construction and are sprung. The buffer beam sports numerous combinations of pipework with vacuum, air, steam heat, multiple working and electric train heating pipes and cables all supplied with models as appropriate, depending on the prototype. These parts are authentically coloured and the comprehensive instructions supplied with each model detail their fitting. Next we come to the bogies and both the cast and fabricated types are modelled. The brake chains are produced in metal and fitted to each model. Two per bogey, these connect to the bogey and the chassis, so there is no interference when you come to remove the body shell. We have even included the bogey retention cables, however we are sure you will appreciate that these can only be fitted for display purposes. Additional extras on the bogies include the optional fitting of an original speedo drive, slow speed control and mileage counter. Between the bogies we come to the fuel and water tanks. A busy area of the model indeed, with various pipes intermingled with the tanks. Here we have the original water and fuel tanks, each fitted with a gauge on each side, giving four in total. Where the water tank has been converted into a fuel tank, the water gauges were plated over. In some cases, one gauge was left operable on each tank, these being on the left hand tank on either side of the loco. The smooth sided, long range fuel tank is also modelled. A water filler valve is present where appropriate, whilst more recently some locos have been fitted with a joining pipe between the two fuel tanks, and the electronic fuel gauge can also be fitted to either of the fuel tanks on relevant locos. Turning our attention to the body sides and the water filler door and steps are either present, or the door can be modelled welded shut and with the body side steps plated over. The distinctive camp rail grills depict whether the locomotive was built by English Electric or Robert Stevenson and Hawthorns the latter standing out due to the additional vertical upright in the middle of each of the wider grills. Frost grills may also be applicable to some locos and these are supplied in the form of a fine etch for optional fitment. On the roof the main differences are seen at the number 2 end and here we see the original open boiler port which is accompanied by the two small safety valves. Later the boiler port was plated over as two were the safety valves and we can also model locos that had a blank fitted in place of this exhaust port. The roof panelling here is another area of interest and this may be welded, secured with single rows of rivets or with double rows of rivets depending on which build batch any particular loco came from. Regardless of which combination of tooling options is present on any particular model, the level of detail is of the highest calibre, with crisp mouldings, separate metal and plastic detail parts where suitable and fine engraving where a separate part simply wouldn't be the right choice. Take the roof for example. The power lines are neat and consistent, the rivet detail expertly moulded and the area brought to life by the etched fan grill, which captures the woven wire effect of the prototype to a T, finished with a separate frame on top. Once again, with uh, every single of our Class 37 models, each will be released in three different versions. There will be the standard model, the sound fitted model and back by popular demand, the sound fitted deluxe with our award winning uh, fans and uh, windscreens. Great, and the Soundfit and Soundfit Deluxe versions, Dave, they're fitted with the latest Zemo MS series decoder, aren't they? That's right, yes, the, the latest uh, Plux 22 Zemo decoders. 
Yeah, so almost a small computer inside your Class 37 to operate the, the lights, the sound, um, and for the sound fit deluxe, the fans too. That's right, yeah, there's a lot of functions in these. So, the two models that we are announcing today, as mentioned earlier, are in front of us now. Uh, two thirty-seven fours, Dave. That's right. Yes, they're uh, our, our first first production models, ready for you to buy today. Yeah. So we've got thirty-seven four three zero, which is Cumbran, and that's a main range release, which will be available from Batman Stockists at DEMU Showcase today, and heading out to our retailers around the country and around the world uh, next week. Secondly, we have uh, three seven four two two Cardiff Canton, and it's very attractive EWS uh, maroon and gold. It's a stunning locomotive, uh, lots of lovely features on it and um, something quite special about this one, isn't there? Yeah, really eye-catching machine and this is uh, the next Batman Collectors Club limited edition model. Uh, this too is available today to purchase from the Batman Collectors Club stand um, and with both models we have the standard, the sound fitted and the sound fitted deluxe versions all here ready for you to add to your collections. Um, that's obviously if you're at the DMU showcase, pick one up today. Um, if not, you can order the club version now um, or contact your local Batman stockist to get Cumbran. As we've already seen, these new 37s are highly detailed indeed, and like all Batman models, that detail and fidelity is only enhanced by the exquisite multi-stage livery application, using BR and corporate specification colours, whilst authentic logos, numerals and typefaces are also employed. You'll see all of this in our standard format models, along with features such as directional lights and our dual fitted speaker system. Fitting a Plus 22 DCC decoder opens up a myriad of lighting functions, all controlled independently via the function keys on your DCC controller. An accessory pack is also included with every model, along with etched nameplates and plaques where appropriate. Opt for a sound fitted model and you can enjoy all the features and details that come as standard plus a pre-fitted Zemo MS450 DCC sound decoder which will play authentic sounds via the dual fitted speaker system. The sound decoder will be loaded with one of our four sound projects replicating the sounds of the locomotive on which our model is based and what's more, as with all Batman models, sounds can be enjoyed on both analogue and DCC. For the ultimate experience, why not choose a sound fitted deluxe model and delight in two additional award winning features. The motorised radiator fan, driven by its own independent motor and controlled by the Zemo MS decoder as part of the sound project, brings another dimension to your model, whilst our top of the range 37s also feature the tinted windscreen glazing reminiscent to the prototype and first introduced on the award winning Batman Branch Line Class 47. Our first main range release depicts class 37437430 Cumbran in the iconic BR Blue large logo livery. Fitted with sealed beam marker lights within its plated centre panels and a central lamp bracket at the top of the nose, oval buffers are also present. ETH equipment is of course fitted, whilst on the roof we can see that the steam heat boiler port has been plated over along with the body side steps. The water tank is now used as a second fuel tank and the gauge is fitted on each side of the loco, on the left hand tank in both cases. The fabricated bogies sport a full house of adornments with the original speedometer, mileage counter and slow speed control all present. Our Batman Collectors Club Limited Edition is also a 37.4, this being 37422 Cardiff Canton in the striking maroon and gold colour scheme of EWS. Featuring sealed beam marker lights and high intensity headlights, Cardiff Canton is also fitted with NRN aerials and has the modern squared buffers at either end. Twin fuel tanks are present with a traditional gauge on each side of the loco, again on the left hand tank in both cases. In addition, an electronic fuel gauge is fitted to what was once the water tank. The fabricated bogies of 37422 are uncluttered except for the slow speed control at the number 2 end. Well I hope you enjoyed that closer look at these two models. And uh, Just to remind you these are both available today at DMU. So if you're there, go out and get them. If you're not, I believe you can get tickets on the door and you can go and buy the, this lovely one from the retailers 
and this one at the top here from the Texas Club Sand. Great, two models, Dave. Seems like well, there's not too many there to uh, no, all the touring quite... we've done. Just just the two options. It's quite a small announcement, isn't it? A big announcement, but not very many locomotives. No. Any more coming? Yeah, if you come back in just over a week's time for the British Railway announcements, we'll have more to show. Wow, just 37s? That'd be uh, that'd be telling, wouldn't it? We'll have to wait. We'll have to tune in. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us today. We hope you enjoy what we've shown you. Do take a look, as Dave said, see the models yourself. If not at the event, go onto our website where there's lots of images um, and more details of, of these two models. And we look forward to sharing details of um, our next 37s and who knows what else in just over a week's time.